What's up guys, it's Tays and welcome to another tutorial on my channel. This one I'm going to show you how to make a nice uh, rotation transition that looks really smooth and I've seen a lot, a lot of edits and people ask me how I did it so I don't know how good you can see this but if you can just click on the link on the screen and watch the preview of this and yeah so this is pretty much the transition let me just show that to you in the slow version so pretty much rotates there's some nice zooming and motion blur going on and yeah <coughs> well if you guys can see it that's the transition looks really nice so um in another tutorial i'm going to show you how to create all uh, this color correction without any plugins at all and yeah well let's just do the transition now so what you're gonna do is pretty much um, edit your clips, cut your clips, um, and so this. Let me just make this a different color so you guys can see. So the orange bit is the first clip, and then this brown clip is the second clip. So this is already synced up, and like I already know where the transition is gonna be. Like if you can hear this, there's like a beat there. And that's where I want the transition to be, so I made a cut there. And yeah, I guess you guys can understand that. So, what we're gonna do now is select both our clips, hit R for rotation, and create keyframes. So, um, we're gonna, the top clip, like the second clip, is gonna have a value of 25. And the bottom one is going to have a value of minus 25. Um, then we're going to hold shift and page up to go um, back 10 frames. So you just go like that. Like, I don't know, frame by frame, but I don't know why you would do that. <laughs> so you just type in zero. So this like rotates in. And on this one, we're gonna go forward like 25 frames because that's like where my shot is. Or so you can go forward how many, like however many frames you want, but this is just my value. So then select all of your keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. This is gonna give this whole thing a more smooth look. Um, then you're gonna create a new adjustment layer. Just right click new adjustment layer and <coughs> add the effect transform to that adjustment layer and we're gonna create a keyframe at the very start like where it starts rotating have it at scale 100 then go forward to where the cut is and then just zoom in so you can't see the black corners anymore uh, don't worry, we'll add like motion blur and stuff and make this look really nice. Then go forward till it ends rotating and just paste 100 again to bring this back to its original size. Press F9 to e easy ease those. And then let's add motion blur to all of our layers by simply, if you don't see this, just press F4 on your keyboard. Just check this for all the layers and then check it up there and that should give us some motion blur going on there well we still gotta do some stuff we have to make this smooth as fuck so um, <coughs> we're gonna use the keyframe editor to change how fast this animates so open up the graph editor then select um, the top keyframe and just drag that uh, all the way down like that. And I can make another tutorial and explain them what exactly this thing does, but for now I just follow what I do. Uh, if this is like too small for you, there's like a button down there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's called Fit All Graphs to View, and then it's gonna look like this. So that's 
a bit better to see what you're actually doing. So, um, drag this one, drag it all the way down like that. And then grab that one again, bring that down, and select the two rotation keyframes of the first clip, and pretty much bring this to the right, and drag this up, like that, alright. So let's just render a quick preview. I hope this is not taking too long. That should be alright. So yeah, if you guys have any other requests or any other stuff you want to know, then just write that in the comments down below. Or tweet at me and I'll probably make a tutorial on that then. So that's the transition pretty much looks really smooth in my opinion you can make it a bit faster if you want to uh, to add some more motion blur or you're just gonna add some real smart motion blur to the whole thing to give everything like a lot more uh, blur while doing this and that can look really nice if you have the right settings so like don't over overdo this too much well yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you learned something, it would be nice if you could leave a rating on this video. And yeah, any other requests, just write them down in the comments. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.